We all make mistakes. Nobody is perfect, and it's a fact of life that no matter how hard you try, you're bound to eventually end up in, well, a shitty situation. And while all mistakes have consequences, there are few that have been as devastating as Nate Miles, the former NRL player who fell just short of one of the sport's most coveted milestones. The story is an infamous one. Footy fans can no doubt recite most of the events. It involves the Central Coast Juniors, an alleged stomach bug, the Terrigal Crown Plaza Hotel, and $50,000. This is how Nate Miles pooed his way out of origin immortality. In 2005, New South Wales won their third straight State of Origin series, which was at that point tied for the longest Origin winning streak ever. But not for long. After this third loss, Queensland decided they didn't want to lose anymore. So they didn't, going on to win eight straight series from 2006 to 2013. And over this near decade of dominance, there was one man who reigned supreme, Jonathan Thurston, who played all 24 games during the Maroon dynasty. Had Nate Miles' night in 2009 gone differently, he would have joined Thurston, the two pillars of one of Australian sport's most dominant legacies. Instead, he became a what if, an almost, and all because of one rather unfortunate evening. It was a Saturday night in July 2009 at a Central Coast Juniors function. Miles was joined by fellow Roosters teammates Mitchell Pearce, Willie Mason and Mark O'Mealy. And as could be expected, their night became a big one, with the players all returning to the plaza at around 4am. This is where the details get a bit blurry, but there are two things that are absolutely certain. One, that later that morning, Miles tried to gain entry into the room of a family staying in the hotel asking them if he could use their bathroom. They refused. Two, the Miles was found around 8am in the hotel's fire escape after going number two in the hotel's corridor. Obviously, the NRL was not thrilled with this, and despite Miles apologising to the family, other guests, and offering to pay the hotel's cleaning bill, he was punished severely by the league. He was fined $50,000 and banned for six weeks which overlapped the third and final State of Origin game that year. At face value, this suspension was not devastating for the Maroons, who had already claimed the series by winning the first two games. Miles had played 11 straight Origin games up to this point, and he would go on to play another 19, a truly impressive resume that no NRL player would knock back. But due to his one missed game, the Queensland great missed his shot at true immortality. Unable to say that he played every single Origin game during Queensland's miracle run. More than that, it also robbed him of the chance to have played in 31 straight Origin games, which would have given him the second longest streak for a Queenslander ever, trailing only, you guessed it, Jonathan Thurston. But despite this one incident, Miles' situation is nothing close to a sad story, as he goes down as one of the game's most successful forwards. On top of his origin pedigree, he was also named to the Prime Minister's Eleven three times, and represented Australia nine times over his 12-year career. His last time pulling on the maroon jersey was Origin 1 in 2017, leaving the team with a strong legacy. He won 21 of his 32 appearances, earning the Wally Lewis medal in 2012, and becoming a two-time Ron McAuliffe medal winner in 2012 and 2014, awarded to the best Queensland player in a series. For better and for worse, Nate Miles will go down in history as one of the game's most impactful origin players of all time. It just so happens that because of this, his legacy will always be somewhat stained.